tripping out over you, babe. I'm tripping out. You got me tripping. You got me tripping now. You got me tripping. Falling on the floor for you, baby. You got me tripping. I'm falling on the floor. Yeah, yeah. Got me. Yo. Hey, Josh. You got me going crazy. Yeah, yeah. Over you. you. Got me tripping. <laughs> Welcome tonight to Intellectual Radio. Popping off with the hottest chick in Chicago, Miss Sistra. You know, I have to, like, kiss myself sometimes. Damn, I'm fine. Damn, I'm fine. You know, I tell y'all this come from drinking all that Project Water shit. <laughs> I tell y'all, if your woman ain't never drunk sugar water, leave her. If she ain't never had an egg sandwich, leave her. If she ain't never had sugar bread, leave her. <laughs> Lolo C, what up, Lolo? Listen, I'm just in such a great mood. You know my producer, when we be sitting in here waiting for me to start the show, he gonna say, you know what? You always, <laughs> you need to do a show where you decipher a song for the people to let them know what the song means. Is that what it is? I'm gonna do a segment on that. I'm gonna do it next week because y'all ain't ready for me today. You know, I'm so fine. I don't know what I want to drink, May or wine. I don't know if I want to drink the month, May or wine. I wanna... <laughs> but you know what? I'm going to spend the month of June because June 28th is the election. I know a lot of y'all don't vote, but I want y'all to go register to vote if it's still a chance to vote. But we have to decipher everything that comes in Cheryl Sistrunk mailbox. Hey, Miss Thomas, if it come in my mailbox, I want to talk about it on my show. So you know what popped up in my mailbox this week? They thought I was just only going to talk about them last week, but I'm back this week. Because this is Election Central. Definitely broke down the Robert Taylor way, okay? This is Robert Taylor news. I'm trying to give y'all an urgency to understand that your vote counts. Okay, and I want y'all to understand that if they do one thing to us, we have to remember it. We can't wait for them to do 15, 20, 30 different things to the African American community. And they hand us some cheese out the week for the election. And oh, y'all make cheese toast. No, <laughs> we're not making no cheese toast. So last week, I had to talk about the low down, dirty, dirty, dirty. J.B., his name is J. Robert Prisker, right? Born January 19, 1965. They told me that he was an American businessman. This is what uh, they say on Google. They say he's a philanthropist. They had to be spelling something wrong. And a politician serving as the 43rd governor. The only thing that they told me that was true, that he was a politician serving as the 43rd governor of Chicago, Illinois, right? Hey, Lori. But wait a minute. Look what come in my mailbox today. I get in my building, check the mailbox. I can't get my mail out. But, I mean, lies on top of lies on top of lies. Did any of y'all get this in the mailbox? I mean, he's telling me about everything he did, but what he really did. I mean, leading our state through the pandemic. Wow. Save taxpayers billions of dollars. Wow. Raise the minimum wage and advance equal pay. Wow. You're damn lying because I ain't got my pay yet from CTA. So you lied on that. Created jobs by making the largest investment in the county. I know 500 people that ain't got a job. Made sure women in Illinois had a right to choose. They just told us we don't have the right to choose. So y'all going on with that one. Put Illinois on the map. Yes, you did put Illinois on the map. But you say you put Illinois on the map for 100% clean energy. You know what you put Illinois on the map for? Legalized marijuana. And you didn't give none of these people none of that money. You didn't let me and my kids own the marijuana uh, dispensary. 
You let none of my cousins, them that got good credit on the marijuana dispenser, you don't get to do 15 things to us and then say, oh, June 28th, vote for me. I want to know who running against this man. Is there anybody that's going to run against him? Because J.B. has got to go. Hey, hey, ho, ho, J.B. Prisca has got to go, okay? There is no jobs for the felons that get out of jail. There is no jobs for anybody that has a background. But now they told me that weed is legal. But they started locking up you and me if we get caught with some weed. So what part is legal? Oh, it's legal if Caucasians got it. It's illegal if the African Americans got it. So this is the key. They got the people running up on y'all. I mean, I can't get through Washington Park without a sign here, a sign there. I can't walk down the street without all of these different politicians popping up all of a sudden. Ooh, vote for me. But I tell y'all, we're going to play the three blind mice. We're going to put on our glasses and we're going to walk right past them. I can't see nothing. I'm sorry, JB. Sure, sis drunk. Uh, anybody from Robert Taylor Project, 53rd to 23rd, from state to the lake. This is not the man that is for our children. If there has not been no meat put in your house by JB, he don't deserve your vote. If there has not been no gas put in your car by JB, he does not deserve your vote. If Conway Edison and People Gas did not stop your bill for six, if he ain't gave you nothing to him, and let JB know, hey, hey, ho, ho, no, no, okay? And it's amazing to me how beautiful this pamphlet looks. I don't see no African Americans in the pamphlet. He's shaking hands with everybody but us. But oh, he got an African American on the back taking your name. <laughs> he the help. He got the help on the back taking your name for the COVID test. But see, on the strength that they uh, were bogus to all of us that's out here working, single mothers, single fathers, and they made us get vaccinated, and then Four months later, they stopped the vaccination. They can't get our vote no more. On the strength that there is no meat, no bread, no sugar, no butter in your house from this governor, he can't get your vote. On the strength that ain't no check came to your door, you can't vote for this man. Okay? Now, Willie Wilson, I just told y'all, is the only man that is getting sure of his drunk vote June 28th. When I go early vote, I may get out there and go vote because I think early voting has started. I'm sorry if none of these candidates has made a difference in my apartment, in my house, in my car, in my life, in my working um, production. You don't get my vote no more. I'm a woke black sister, African-American woman, okay? I know the okie doke. I understand that the eggs are spoiled. I understand what y'all trying to sell us. I, I know y'all want us to believe that y'all are for us. But this ain't FUBU. I didn't wear FUBU no way. I didn't wear FUBU. For us, by us, I didn't buy that. Okay, Carl Canal, he may got a couple of dollars from me. But FUBU, no. But this is the key. We have so many people that are looking for this, uh, I mean, this amazing vote. But they won't save us. When they trying to hang us. These same people did not shield us when all of these bullets are flying. Do you get it? This same man that won't our vote. We can't catch him in the hood when they shooting up 63rd and Ashland. When they shooting up 23rd in Michigan. This man ain't in the hood. He don't come see about us. He ain't, I ain't seen them at no funeral. Or none of the children that were lost in the city of Chicago. Why would y'all get this man y'all vote? He's the governor of Illinois. He's supposed to be for everybody. He ain't supposed to just take from the poll, give to the rich, and then come back to the poll three, four years later and look for your vote. No. So this is election central here and popping off. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Y'all can't get my vote no more. I, 18 years old, our mama told us, oh, vote for them. They, no, we ain't doing none of that no more. All that your mama told you to vote and your grandmama and them said, oh, vote for him. Vote for Jesse. Vote. We ain't doing none of that no more. Do your research on these people. What have these people done in your house? If you can look in your house, any of them light bills and them gas bills, these governors, 
These politicians, they can stop all of that. They can put some new laws in and new bills in and cut the prices and all of that. But, oh, no, we, we up here trying to go get four bundles of hair. We trying to get us a new outfit to get the streets. No. Y'all got to watch what these people are doing. Find out about the education system. What has he done for education? When the big shooting just happened at Udalva, however they, however they pronounce it, did they close Chicago down? Did they care about your children? No. Did he tell Lori, hey, we shutting Chicago down. We're going to remote, we're going to do uh, remote learning for the kids next year. They ain't said nothing about our kids. You know what? Because they don't give a damn. So I know y'all on y'all way to vote. June 28th, I'll be working the election also, but I'm going to go vote early. But these people here that did not give the African-American people a chance to own a dispensary. That's, see, that's the biggest thing. For us to be productive members of society, for us to be self-employed, because that could have made each and every one of us self-employed. You get it? Do you know how much money we could have made? They made a million dollars. Each dispensary made over a million dollars that one day, like in a couple of hours. Do you know how well that could have fed your children? Do you know how well that could have put your kids through college? You ain't got to worry about a student loan, but I know y'all looking at the little picture. Sure, Sister Trunk going to open the bigger picture up to you guys. I want to be a productive member of society. You get what I'm saying? I want to have a million dollar uh, account too. Why do white America, it's the only one, get a, a million dollar account? Why are the dispensaries winning hand over fist? They taking the, everything that they got from, they done watched and copycat everything out of the African American community. They locked us up for it. And then they go back and they do it. Then they make it legal to sell the same drugs that your brother and them got 10 years for. That ain't right, JB. And anybody watching popping off that's woke. I ain't talking about you sleep people. Do what y'all gonna do. All you people that's woke, that know you got a cousin, a uncle, a daddy, a grandmama. There's plenty of people in jail for this weed. And they ain't got to their case yet. There's plenty of people that got a felony for having a, a, a pound of weed on them. They ain't got to their case yet. These people do not get our vote. We're gonna run this man out of Chicago. I don't care nothing about he a billionaire. We don't care nothing about that. He can go get his boat and roll on down Mich Lake Michigan and go on somewhere else. Go to California. Run somewhere else. Because you have ran our children into the ground. You have ran our black men into the ground. You have ran our black sisters into the ground. And you got a black woman sitting on the side of you that know the wrong that she's doing. But she looking out for herself. This is why they so afraid of me at DTA. And local 308 and 241. You know why? Because I'm turning and opening eyes to people. Showing them how slick and low down corruption is. Listen, I tell y'all the truth. I shame the devil with it. Because, you know, I want them to know that I know what you're doing. I know what you're doing. And just in case they say, well, you can't run this year. You ain't got that. It don't matter, baby. I'm on y'all forever until I can run. I ain't got nothing to do with my life. I'm poor. I come from a poor family. We didn't have much. But the Lord, he's been good to me. <laughs> because I come from a poor family, I ain't got nothing to do. <laughs> I ain't got nothing for him to take, okay? So this is why Cheryl Sister is so bold. Cheryl don't care nothing about all the big eyes and the big U's and all the men they got. I ain't got nothing for him to take. I ain't got nothing that they could take, okay? So this is the key, June 28th. Your life is dependent on who you put in that seat. And I ain't going for they're Democrat, they're Republican. I'm going for who's the best person that can look out, that can help you and me, that can help remove all of this uh, illegal background off our children and our cousins and our granddaddies in them name. There's some people who need these felonies. I don't want to hear about y'all only doing the misdemeanor. Y'all got to remove the felonies too. Everybody that's a, that's a marijuana case. They got to be removed. I don't want to hear about they had seven pounds. I don't care nothing about that. Y'all are making billions of dollars a second. And y'all boxed out the African-American people. And because he did that, June 28th, I'm going to keep letting everybody know, it's a no-go for JB. Okay? J. Robert cannot get our vote. He not looking for the niggas to help him. But he didn't want to help the niggas January the 3rd. 
2020. So why would you come in our neighborhood now? You didn't want us to eat uh, three, four years ago. Why you want to come here now? Oh, because this black vote is very, very expensive. This is the most expensive thing that you own in your life, and that is the right to vote. And they are looking for us to put them in office for three, four more years and to do wrong to us. And because this man has took the right for your husband, your wife, your grandparents, the teachers, and everybody to own a weed dispensary, he needs a whole foot up his. But because I can't do nothing to him, you know, he's being there, he got plenty of security. I ain't finna fight nobody. But I want him to know the black folk don't belong to you no more, baby. I'm going to wake everybody up all around the world to let them know the black folk don't belong to you no more. We are intelligent now. We done graduated out of high school now. We done graduated out of college now. We want better things now, okay? And we want to wake and tap everybody. Tap him, tap her, tap everybody. June 28th is a no-go for J.B. Prisca. J.B. Prisca took money out of your kid's mouth. J.B. Prisca took education. He took safety out of y'all mouth. When that big shooting just happened, they didn't close Chicago schools. You know why? Because it's a payday for them. Laura ain't closed nothing. And if they don't go back to remote learning, this is when you know that your vote, your vote June 28th is going to determine if your kids can go back to remote learning. And if you are nervous and worried about these different people walking into all of these different offices, shooting these places up, you better be. Don't overlook nothing. Keep your eyes open. Put the earphones down. Put your cell phones down. Watch as well as pray. Because these people are on their way. Okay? So listen. Hi, Tanisha. Listen to me. Everybody that watches Poppin' Out, spread the word. J.B. Prisca. He cannot have our vote. I mean, they can give the vote to him whatever color, but this color here. Do not press. Whatever that button is for him, don't press it. For what? Why would you press a button to a man that didn't care anything about how you struggled the entire year during the pandemic? Why would you press a button for a man that did not care that you have A1 credit. He don't care nothing about that you graduated from college, that you graduated out of high school, that you're a productive member of society, that you're working for Walmart and Walgreens. Did you think that he, that he was going to give you a leg up to own a dispensary when you have a great background to get it? No. So why would y'all put this man back in office? We don't care nothing about the clean air. All we got to do is open the window. We okay. It been clean air all the time. The only reason the air's polluted because they sending the spaceships up. Ain't nothing wrong. Okay, just get y'all some halls and get you some water. You're going to be okay, okay? Watch as well as pray, I'm telling you. So this is the key. Everybody that come in my mailbox, they will get a debut on popping off, okay? You say the other black guy wants to lock us up and give the police all the money. Absolutely. So listen to this. We're going to speak facts here on popping off every week. And I only can tell y'all the truth. I only can tell y'all what I know for certain and it's that these people have boxed us out and, and, and pushed us in a corner where we cannot do anything. And technically, there's not a crab in the barrel effect because everybody else is already at top. You get it? And all of the African Americans that do have the power to do something, say something, they ain't gonna say nothing. What would they say something for when they're making $500,000 a year? They're making a million dollars a year. They care nothing about you, $20,000 people. What they care about you for? The key is let them kill each other. That's all they think about us. You get it? Only time they want to run up on us is if we they shoot a Chicago police officer or somebody big time get hurt. Other than that, they don't care nothing about if you and your kids is okay. Okay? But I tell you what. If you only press Willie Wilson June 28th and y'all go out and let this city know that we tired of y'all and we tired of y'all mess and they end up with 20% of the vote, they'll understand. You got to give them a message. You don't always have to fight and argue to get a message across. Your vote can get the message across, okay? Hey, Miss Butler. So listen, you guys, I just came just to make you guys understand that we're in the fight of the battle of our lives 
And it may not seem like a physical fight, but we're definitely in a spiritual fight. We're in a mental fight. And we have to watch the people that we continue to put in office. And how about this man here, J.B. Prisker? He cannot get the black vote because he didn't care about your black children. None these years they was there. I don't care nothing about they did the clean air. I don't care nothing about they broke the ground open. That was for white America. That ain't one for me. I didn't benefit nothing that this man did for three or four years. I didn't benefit from nothing that he did. Nothing. Did you benefit from anything that J.P. Prisca did? Let him know that you didn't benefit by not, by, don't press his name. Okay? Because this finger is the baddest thing that you got. This black finger, that's punching them buttons and punching them holes and them ballots or tapping if you use the touch screen. This finger here, baby, this finger, he wants you to use this finger for him when he used it, this finger for you. He uses this finger for each and every one of you guys looking at me. So don't use this finger and tap him on that touch screen, okay? So listen, you guys, I only speak facts. Y'all know I tell it like it is. And this is going to be election central. I want you guys to watch out for June 7th. Um, I know that they're doing an hour of power to talk about all the wrong that Eric Dixon, uh, Mark Weems, and Local 308 and Local 241 is doing June 7th at 10 a.m. I'm going to tune in. Uh, it's next Tuesday, you guys. So listen, come out to the union meeting. Let's get involved. Let's find out what's going on. And there is an hour of power that Eric Bazier is doing. And listen, you guys definitely tune in for Election Central. We're going to keep you guys updated what is going on in Chicago, what is affecting our youth, and that will definitely affect you and your income and your job and your family. But until these people do right by us, don't touch them touch screens for them people. And I don't care if they are skin folk. They are not our kin folk. I don't care nothing about what African American is running. If they have not made a difference in your house, they have not made a difference in your life, your children's life, education, don't use that touch screen June 28. Do not use that touch screen for none of these people, okay? Just because they are skin folk don't mean they are kin folk. And sure enough, if they Caucasian, they ain't raising. <laughs> They ain't care nothing about us, okay? And because I ain't got the dispensary, I'm angry. Because I got the good credit. I got everything that qualified me to get a dispensary. But they boxed me out, baby. And I'm going to let y'all know that I know that y'all ain't for us, okay? You ain't for us. You a billionaire. You ain't got nothing to do with your life. You don't care nothing about us. So why would we care about him, okay? So you guys, be careful June 28th. Don't trip and fall. And punch these people in there. Because these people don't care about if your children have anything to eat. Okay? This man didn't care nothing about the black vote until four years from now. This is why he needs you. He needs you to keep feeding his family. He needs you to keep putting money in his bank account. He needs you to press his name to keep elevating his family. And making sure that his family will be fed five to ten generations from now. Can you say that your family going to be fed five to ten generations from now if you vote for J.B. Prisca? No. So don't vote for him. And because I know I ain't got nothing, he can't get my vote. I ain't got nothing to give you. Give you something for what? Remember my mom used to say that? Give you something for what? <laughs> I need you like a fish need a raincoat, J.B. Prisca. I need you like a fish need a raincoat. And the fish don't need a raincoat. So listen, every week we want to keep pushing the word. It's a no-go for JP. It's a no-go. So listen, you guys. Open your eyes. Open your ear. If these politicians that are running in June for June 28th spot, I don't care what position they're running for, if they have not done anything in your community, if they have not done anything in the school system, if they have not done anything that helps the small, the homeless, the homeless is still under the vilock. They can't get my vote. The homeless does not have a, um, a center for them to go eat and sleep at. They got all these different little fake churches feeding them so they can get all this free funding. You get it? But if, they're, if they can't go to sleep, I can't go to sleep either. Okay? If my comrade bill a $1,000 and J.B. Prisca didn't say, ooh, we're going to pay every bill around it. What you going to listen? Why would y'all vote for someone that cannot help you financially? You get it? There's nothing in my house. 
that J.B. Prisca has done deserve my vote. But my car could say what Willie Wilson done. Do you get it? The little old folks home down the street can tell what Willie Wilson has done. You get it? So you have to look in your community and look and see what all these people that is looking for the black vote can do. So listen, you guys. It's a no-go for J. Robert. <laughs> it's a no-go. So I'm going to keep spreading the word June 28th. Look at who you're voting for. Look at the ballots. And if it don't look right, it ain't right, okay? And if they have not done anything for you, you know what they say? What have you done for me lately? Okay. What have you done for me lately is the word today. Hey, Nathaniel. Or Nathan. Your name is Nathan. Okay. So, you guys, enjoy your night. I just wanted to come in just to crack a few jokes and to let you guys know. These politicians that are running around here, ready for the black vote, need a whole foot up they shabazz. Okay? And they can't get my vote. I'm sorry. And we're going to continue to speak facts and let you guys know that you know what? Listen. If you ain't got no pretty finesse. You ain't better than the rest, okay? So I'm going to wrap this up with you guys. And listen, we're tripping all over you, but don't trip over the black folk. We're valuable. We're valuable. You know how valuable we are? In our community now. They need us. <laughs> we need them none. <laughs> so JB, we're going to send them back home to Las Vegas or California, wherever he want to go, because Illinois don't need them anymore. All right? All right, you guys, enjoy your night. Watch that vote June 28th, you guys. Thank you for tuning in.